Throughout my uh, career, I've worked with a lot of, um, how can I put it nicely, um, prima donnas. And I mean that in a positive way as well. But working with artists, uh, creative people, all this type of thing. And they make excessive demands on their needs. And classically, you see this in the music industry when a singer or a band or a performer will insist on having you know water in their in their room that comes from a particular spring in Scotland or particular chocolates and this sort of thing, um, these excessive um, demands, you know, diva type demands, if you like. And one of the classic stories you may have come across this one was uh, the rock band Van Halen, uh, big in the uh, you know, back in the eighties and nineties, and they made a stipulation in their contract that in their changing room, when they went to do a, a live performance, they must have a bowl of M&Ms. But in that bowl of M&Ms, there must be no brown ones. They're kind of no brown M&Ms. They had to be taken out of the mix. And people thought, well, that's a bit of a you know, prima donna status thing, making it awkward. But the backstory to it is really absolutely quite interesting. And it's an interesting sort of psychology thing for, for contracts, because what Van Halen found was that their, their road crew, their band was so big that they would have to take equipment and lamps and lights and uh, amplifiers and equipment. And they needed specific rigs, electrical equipment and uh, door sizes and bracing and stages and all sorts of things things to make their um, stagecraft uh, safe for a start, but so delivered a, an excellent performance uh, for their audience as well. So they put this um, no brown M&M clause in. And when, as soon as they went to the venue and they walked into their dressing room, if there were brown M&Ms in the bowl, or maybe no M&Ms, if you like, but no if there were brown M&Ms in the bowl, they weren't really bothered about the M&Ms, but what it meant was that the uh, the guys hadn't read the contract. Now, if the M&Ms were wrong, likely they wouldn't have all the power outlets they wanted or the stagecraft they wanted or the hoists or the pulleys or the lights or the whatever it was. So they put this clause in the middle of this massive contract, uh, the size apparently, according to them, uh, the size of a Chinese um, phone book. And if they read the contract and they got the M&Ms right, very likely they'd read the rest of the contract and everything else would be okay as well. But the brown M&Ms were in the bowl, it meant they hadn't read the contract properly and therefore other things were likely to be wrong or out of place or need to be checked. So it was just a little sort of litmus test very clever litmus test, actually. So when you hear these divas doing things in their changing rooms and everything like that before they go on stage, maybe it's a brown M&M &M moment. Maybe it's something they do not to make sure that there's no brown M&Ms, but that everything else that they need from a, a safety and delivery perspective and contractual perspective is in place as well. So if in doubt, read the uh, read the contract. So there you go. That's the the true story, the backstory of the brown M and M's for the band uh, Van Halen. So how can you use that in your business? Interesting thing to look at for contracts. Anyway, good stuff. Have a great week. It's bright and sunny here in the middle of France, and uh, we're off building retaining wall. More updates to come on that. Probably over the weekend now, I suppose. Um, we're getting ready for her ladyship for a large patio. But anyway, updates to come. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And uh, please like, share and comment. I'll see you soon. Have a great week. Bye for now.